your first alert weather with meteorologist Jeff Denoyer. Okay, so October 21st, pencil this in, has to be sunny, gorgeous, and wonderful for the run. That's what we're going to need to do because anything to make sure Liz Hurley's run is going to be good. It's always going to be good. It's raising money for a great cause. Huntsville outside, when I came into work, it felt really good outside. And when I came back to work after I had my dinner, it's a lot more humid out there right now. We're actually changing the air mass right before your very eyes. And it's been happening throughout the evening. Now, the temperatures don't really reflect that. You know, highs today were mainly 80s. I think the shoals did hit 90 for a little while, but we're now like mainly 70s, and that's not really that bad for this time of year. But what's been happening while we had dinner was a frontal boundary has been lifting closer to the area, and it's taken the dew point temperatures all the way up into the 70s for many locations, and that means that the humidity is building back, and it's not going anywhere anytime soon. It's with us for the end of the week. It's with us for the weekend, and it's summer. It's going to be hot and humid most of the time in the Tennessee Valley, right? High pressure off to our north and east, responsible for that great weather day we had during the day, but now this little frontal boundary. This is actually the same front that moved through the area on Sunday, take you back all the way to Sunday. And now what it did was it liked the Tennessee Valley so much, it's going to come back north as a warm front. It's doing that as we speak. And that's the reason why there's just a little cloud cover out there and the humidity is increasing and eventually going to bring some rainfall to the area. Now, some of the forecast models for tomorrow kind of split on how much rain we get. We have a very low chance because most of the rain looks like it will stay just south of us. But if that area of thunderstorms creeps just a little bit more north, we might have to talk about a little bit more in the way of rainfall for tomorrow. But for now, I left it at a low end 10%. And then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, scattered thunderstorms each and every day. Low 90s, feels like 100 with the humidity. And any time it rains, anytime you have a thunderstorm, it is going to pour. So let's talk about those three days. Next weather maker will start tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. dry, but there's that little cluster of storms at 5 p.m. See how it kind of just hugs areas down towards like Birmingham and south. If this little cluster of storms works a little bit more north during the day tomorrow, there will be more of an impact. And Eric Burke will be here in the morning and he'll look at some of the new forecast model runs and keep you updated, of course. And then on Thursday morning, a scattering of showers and thunderstorms to the north and how well they can hold together as they move south will determine how much rain we get for Thursday afternoon and Thursday night. Right now it looks like we will have some kind of rain in the forecast. And then on Friday, yet another cluster of storms as they come one, two and three. This one has the high end potential to bring a pretty good soaking rain in the afternoon. That would affect the evening commute on Friday. And I mentioned this back at like six o'clock. That Friday evening commute is the one you're all excited about because you're trying to get home. The weekend's happening and you get stuck in a whole bunch of downpours on the way home. That will not be a good drive home. But by 8 p.m., most of the rain's out. And then we do it all over again for the weekend. Saturday, Sunday, scattered showers and thunderstorms likely. Uh, temperatures around 90 degrees, that humidity off the charts. So you know the real field temperatures are triple digits. And then next week, we have some rain in there for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but runs tonight, forecast runs that is, um, showing a little bit less rainfall maybe for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And boy, would it be nice to have a little stretch where we didn't have a thunderstorm mm -hmm. in the forecast. I mean, I, I'm sure I'd be excited about it. I wouldn't have to talk about it, which would be great. <laughs> You're right about that one. A front to hit us twice? Yeah, it, it went south as a cold front and brought that drier air in for okay. to, uh, yesterday and today. And then it wants to go back north again. So what it does is it, it acts like a warm front on the way back, and that's why it's more humid. Interesting. Yeah. I learned something tonight. I didn't know we could get hit by two fronts yep. or a front twice. It just really likes us. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right.